Anti-Afro Svengalis. Listen, everyone, I'm coming on here to give you an update on the Umar Johnson legal situation slash other issues. Now, I know that there were some comments made in a video. So I called up the person and I got some clarity. I heard the comments that you made. Does this mean that I'm able to do a video giving some more information? I got the clearance that I can pretty much piggyback on the statements that were made, but I'm still restricted from giving certain information. But I can give you some information, which is going to be more than I gave before. So we are talking about specifically Rev G. Rev G is the person I've been speaking about in the last two videos. This particular situation is not, repeat, is not related to the federal lawsuit. But it is for sure related to Umar Johnson. These behaviors arise out of Umar Johnson making these demands that people basically go after those who were telling the truth about him, which he objected to. So it is related to Umar Johnson. It's just not related specifically to that federal lawsuit. There were a series of events, very disturbing events that occurred. Two different law enforcement agencies determined that these were indeed criminal acts, multiple. It wasn't Rev G's determination, two separate law enforcement agencies. I recall getting the initial phone call and a series of emails from Rev G. I was also contacted and I was interviewed and I was asked for information and I wasn't quite exactly sure where this was leading. And then I got some more information from Rev G. He had been called in and a couple of times he had meetings that been when they sat him down and gave him the conclusion, I was like, what in the hell? Let me clarify, they, I'm talking about the police had sat him down and gave him the results of what they had found and it was pretty shocking. And this is not happening in one day. This is a span of time that they had gathered information. You have to be very careful, people, who you are engaging. It is absolutely just disgusting how reckless people can be. If you are out there and you have good intentions, the only thing I can say to you, be extremely careful about who you trust. Because this is a situation where Rev G, he didn't put his trust in the source or sources. I'm not saying, I'm not going to tell you whether it's one or more people. I'm not going to say that. But can you imagine if you actually placed your trust in somebody? Imagine what potentially that person could do to you. So this is what I would strongly encourage you to consider. If you are aware that somebody is engaging in any behavior that is non-law abiding and you are aware of it, the best thing that you can do is extricate, is extricate yourself from that person's presence, separate yourself, go nowhere where you see this type of behavior because even your presence can get you caught up. Now, for me, it really makes no difference 
history whatsoever. If a person or people object to me taking a very strong stand when it comes to an expectation of loyalty. When I say an expectation, if somebody is trying to tell you that they care about you, that they're your friend, that they're riding with you, you have a right to expect certain behaviors. You have a right to expect them to demonstrate to you that they mean what they say. If a person is unwilling to do that and you remain in their company, be prepared of what's going to come. And I can guarantee you it's not going to be pretty. Just make sure you know if you are venturing to spaces where there are threats going on, where people are being intimidated, when people are doxing other people, if people are trying to get you involved with engaging in that behavior, if you are passing people's personal information like addresses and phone numbers, it doesn't matter if that information is available. If you are giving that information out, it doesn't matter. You are risking the same type of situation that these individuals or persons or whoever is now facing. And it's not just criminal charges. There is another aspect to this very clearly, unequivocally, the individual or individuals, whatever you want to say involved, have been contacted. And if you are really invested, really invested, you would notice the change. You will notice the change because there has been a very big change. It's so interesting how too many of our people get used to targeting our own because they're so sure nothing will be done about it. Repeating over and over as often as needs to be repeated. Bringing to the forefront, reminding people that Umar has been collecting money for 10 years, reminding people that Umar is impersonating multiple different roles and hasn't followed through is not targeting. Umar wanting people to be silenced led to this. Stupid enough to take Umar up on his criminal demands. Now facing consequences. And this will not be the only situation. For those out there who just kept saying, Rev G is an easy target. You're encouraged to reconsider your position. That was never the case. Rev G has never been an easy target. Retreat used as a calculated strategy is not in any way defeat. Knowledge is power. Silence is golden. In the meantime, you know the drill. Fire, beware.